Elgato prompter not working? I've got your fix and everything you need to know in this ultimate Elgato prompter setup guide from start to finish. Let's go! I'll cover three things. How to assemble your new Elgato prompter, how to connect it to your computer, and how to get the monitor to show the teleprompting software or anything else, including a zoom window, especially if all you're seeing is a black screen. Assembly. When you first pull the Elgato prompter out of the box, you have multiple options for setup, depending on which kind of camera you're going to use. Now in this video, I'm going to focus on DSLR or mirrorless cameras. If you want to use a face cam, a webcam, or something else that doesn't fit with the ring back plate, those instructions are in the box. But if you'd like to see a video on it, comment below and tell me. Step one, for a DSLR or mirrorless camera, remove the face cam pro back plate that comes pre-installed. Be sure to keep the silver screws handy. You're going to need them next. Step two, take the ring back plate. It looks like this and attach it to the prompter. There's a tab on the bottom that fits into the prompter. The side with the protruding arch goes out, then screw it on. Step three, in the box, you're gonna find another box that says step up rings. You're gonna find nine different options. Now you will not use all of them, but note how each has a diameter listed. 55 millimeter, 49 millimeter, 62 millimeter, et cetera, et cetera. Step four, to know which one to use, look at the lens you're using on your camera. It also has a diameter listed. In this case, it's a 56 millimeter lens, but what you're actually looking for is the number right here. It's the thread size. So I chose the 55 millimeter step up ring from the Elgato box. Step five, now screw the step up ring onto the lens. Step six, once your camera is mounted where you want it to go, then slide the prompter onto the step up ring. Let's connect it. Now that you have the Elgato prompter attached to your camera, all you need to do is connect the USB cable to the back of the prompter. Then connect the other end to a port in your computer. It's time to make it work. Now it's time to download the Camera Hub software that will include the necessary display link drivers to actually make this work. You can get that by visiting elgato.com download, go to the Camera Hub section and click on download. The prompter will flash blue and then likely go dark. This is where most people get frustrated with the setup experience because honestly, this part, well, it's finicky. Camera Hub will show connect a device, even though it is connected. I want you to restart the computer, leaving the cable plugged in, then open the Camera Hub software again. Now, if that doesn't work and it still shows the connect a device screen, try a Thunderbolt cable. That's the cable with the little lightning bolt instead of the included USB cable. This has always been the solution for my many, many tests on multiple computers. Once I do that, the regular USB cable that came in the box works fine. Oh. Sonoma has proven to give me the most trouble, just heads up. In fact, I've yet to successfully get it working on Sonoma. Some people have, others haven't. That bug likely will get fixed over time. If you have actually gotten it working on Sonoma and have any tricks, please do support the community. It's an amazing community and leave those tricks in the comments below. Now, once that's downloaded and it's working, you're gonna see three tabs at the top of the Camera Hub software. If the prompter tab is grayed out, out and unclickable restart and really the trick to getting it to work if it's not is restarting the computer or restarting the app itself anytime this kind of gets finicky for you once it's clickable you can choose text or display Text is for if you're gonna use the Elgato prompter teleprompting software for your script or bullet points. Display is for if you're using a different prompter app, which I highly recommend. Link to my favorite is in the description, though here's a quick note. Elgato did make the scroll speed faster since my last video where I mentioned how slow it was, so that is great news. Display is also for if you're wanting to display any other app like a browser window or a Zoom window so you can look your meeting attendees in the eye instead of looking way down at the screen. Boop. And by the way, if you want to wow your audience by looking professional and gain that instant credibility, whether it's on a YouTube video, live stream, or Zoom call, go to livestreamingpros.com slash gear to get a shopping list of the right equipment to use in your setup. So if you're using Camera Hub as the prompting software, make adjustments to the font size and scroll speed first. As you use it, you're gonna start to understand what scroll speed is the most natural for you. Then click the play button to start running it. Like I said, 
said, I do recommend using a more robust teleprompting software for more control. Let link is in the description. And here I teach you how to read from a prompter without looking stiff or robotic in the playlist all about getting the most from your Elgato prompter. And don't forget to grab your pro video setup equipment shopping list at the link below and in the description. I'll see you in the next one.